in any of this, did it dawn on you? Was there a conscious thought of, I may, I may be about to die? Uh, not I thought, during the not, fight. Not I thought that yeah. I thought that the second I seen him for the first time, yeah. I was like, "Is this real?" And then, then it was like a split second like thing thought process. But I was like, "Is this real?" And I was like, "It's real. Like we're about to die." Oh, now yeah, yeah. the next thing I look over at them, and Spencer's getting up out of his seat already. So I was like, "Baby, we got a chance." And then, like when I saw Spencer finally reach him, I was like, "We have a chance." So that's one of the things I think people wonder about you guys is: Have you always known that you would rush to the danger? to take it on? We Honestly, said, we, said yeah, we, we said we would. Honestly, you, if you question it, then you're going to hesitate and you're going to die. When you were in Afghanistan, you were there for nine months for the, with the National Guard, did you see combat? Did you have any experience that would prepare you for this? I mean, the, I mean, training with like the firearms and stuff like really helped afterwards once I got the AK and things like that. But frankly, Afghanistan was nothing like that train. <laughs> we got rockets from time to time, things like that but nothing like that. And so now you're, you're on your vacation, celebrating your downtime with your best friends, and you appreciate you know, the irony of danger coming to you then, the terrorists coming to you then, as opposed to I mean, in Afghanistan. Yeah, and not just that, just the sheer odds of it. Like, yeah, you hear the, the one terrorism. time we're in France, the one time I don't have a handgun on me, the one time <laughs> like, we're all together again, it's just the just the coincidences are amazing when you mm -hmm. think about it. just the sheer odds of it happening then and there and you hear terrorists like in America all the time, but you never think like, yeah, okay, really. like yeah. that's going to happen to us. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Right. Like we yeah. talked about it, and we all like are of the same mentality. We would do something, but you never know until it happens. Exactly. That's that's the thing is you know you guys are obviously you, you join the military, so you've got to at least be somewhat conscious of the fact that we're in a war and we have an enemy and they want to kill us and they want to kill civilians. And as they well. harp on that, yeah. Right. That let you know, be, always be aware of your surroundings. And, do they? Is this yeah. something that's don't emphasized? Don't let yourself be known as military and American. Or, but you, well, you, you weren't. You weren't in, in military gear when you were on that train, were you? No. 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 We weren't the targets. Yeah, we, just, we weren't. We're yeah. the only ones who did something. But how hard is that? Because you're young guys, right? 22? 20, 23. 23. Okay. You're young guys. He's the youngest. Okay, he's the baby. Yeah. So it's not like you've had a lifetime of being in the armed forces or you know being cops or whatever where you're trained for years and years and years to be alert, to understand there could be danger around every corner. I, did it still come naturally to you to I don't think it was a training it. thing. It was, yeah. Really, literally, instance, Spencer like, yeah. got up out of his seat. I had to ask him. We didn't see him for hours because he was at the hospital, actually, until the next day. And then um, I had to ask him, like, why did you get up that fast? Like, even I have to know that. Like, because mm -hmm. he, I'm talking, like, I look back, he's cocking the gun. I look back over, Alex says go, and literally within five seconds of all that. That whole ordeal was five seconds. Spencer had already gotten up out of his seat, so I was like, "I guess we're going." Like, I guess we I have to go. <laughs> hey, was there when it was all over and the train stopped and the authorities came on the train? From that point forward, was there a moment between the three of you where you looked at each other? Until, no, I was sitting day. at the table not and they were kind of working day. on me, putting IVs in and stuff. And I was shouting at Anthony Alec to grab my stuff because I didn't want to be confiscated by the French police. And I wanted my phone, my laptop, all my, you know. Which our stuff was still four cars back in the original spot that yeah. we were because we just didn't move our luggage. I was actually screaming for Alec or Anthony to take a, take a photo. And I was like, get it on Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> that was the theme Millennials. of Millennials. Let's get yeah. a shot. But when yeah, was the first time you had just the three of you? That the was the mansion. Police, no, the police station. No, the police station. Oh, and then we, we, we hopped in the motorcade and headed to the parents. How many yeah. hours later was that? Or minutes? It was, it was like a full day. Yeah, it was a okay. full day. And was there, you know, just this... Holy! We laughed like half the way. No, it was, yeah, it was, we were it just was like a, it was like a joke, like almost like a party. It was great. We were all yeah. like, "Oh, we're back to color." That was crazy. Yeah, it was like, <laughs> and then like was, all our stories totally different. Like, no, that's not what happened. Yeah, this is what happened. You don't know what you're talking about.